Well, hello everyone. This is Kimberly Davis with Diva Designing on a Dime. And I'm coming to you with a little DIY project that I'm going to do here. Um, today I spent the day cleaning out um, my boys' uh, recording studio. They have a little booth that we have built here in our home. And sadly to say I was using it as storage. Well, I found, came across a bag of stuff that I was planning to do a uh, DIY projects on, and this was one of them. I purchased this little easel here back in February from Hobby Lobby. As you can see there, I only paid two dollars for it, and it did come from Hobby Lobby. But of course, I'm not crazy about the pink and red polka dots or orange polka dots that's on the board and it's a little easel but I do like that the fact that it is cute so I said well I can decoupage this easel here put my own uh, colors of, of choice that I want on it and make it my own so the items that I will be using First, I'm going to take it outside and prime it because I'm going to paint the entire easel. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, prime it first. I will be using this craft uh, paint to paint it with a foam brush. So I will be using this paint. I will be using this Mod Podge. And I have two foam brushes that I will be using. Also, to decoupage on the, to cover the polka dotted area, I'm going to use this gift wrap paper, which I picked up from Dollar Tree. So I will be using that to cover the polka dotted area. This back portion of this easel will be painted um, the tan color, the khaki color. So let me take this outside, prime it, and I'll show you what I'll do next. So as you can see here, um, I've primed, uh, primed my easel here. So I'm going to get ready to paint it. So right now I'm just going to pour the paint in my little tray here. Turn this over. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually do this part first. And I'll begin to paint. Now I started to leave this uh, black and use a different um, a different gift wrap paper. And then I said no. I looked in there and I saw this red gift wrap and decided to go with that. And I still could have left it black, but I wanted it to be different. So, so, I'll paint it beige. And let me get the edges while I'm doing this. And it doesn't matter if I hit this or not, it's going to be covered up. And I won't let you, I won't bore you with the <laughs> actual painting. I'll show you. Uh, the next step when I'm done. Okay, I have my stand already painted. I'm going to take my Mod Podge here, pour it in my tray. 
because I'm getting ready to uh, adhere my gift wrap paper to my easel. Now I cut my gift wrap paper big because of the design in the paper. I want to be able to get that design centered and I can always trim it in the end. And I cut it way big, as you can see, bigger than the, the easel itself. So right now I'm gonna take the Mod Podge. I'm gonna apply it standing up there. So it doesn't matter. That way I can see the design even better. So yes, I'll apply this Mod Podge. And I'm not trying to do it, not trying to glob it on, but I'm also not trying to do it light either, you know. I want it to adhere. Get all in there. And with it being gift wrap, I know it's not going to be any problem. To it sticking. And then once I get it on here and it dries, I will do some trimming. I think I want to do it this way. So I'm going to go down the board here, get it as far as I can, and smooth it out from bottom to top here. Just like that. And it will be easy for me to trim. So at this time I'll let it dry. I will trim it up. And then I will put another coat of Mod Podge on it. So I'll show you that process once it's dry. I have trimmed it and I'm going to put a second coat of Mod Podge over um, this gift wrap paper to seal it. Make sure it's on there good. So I'll do it up and down. It will dry clear, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time using this Mod Podge. I'm sure it'll dry clear. trim these edges again. I don't mind the little rough edges anyway, but I'll get my edges real good. Actually, I'll probably sand it somewhat. And I will let that dry. And once I do that, once it dries, it's, it's done. And here is my finished easel. And I'll turn it around here so you can see. Paint it all out, all around. I think it turned out very good. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel, Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. If you have not done so, please subscribe. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. Thank you again so much for watching. You take care. You be blessed. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.